I'm hoping you've had a chance to think about Justice Frankfurter's argument about due process. What, is the, what are the key ideas in this passage? The interesting thing, I think, is the contrast between the idea of legal rules and due process. Remember, the idea is that due process, due process does not have a fixed content unrelated to time, place and circumstance. The passage stresses that it cannot be reduced to a formula. In some ways it's a spirit then. It represents a profound attitude of fairness. I think to think about this properly, we have to link this to rules. This profound attitude of fairness is an attitude about rules, about how institutions work. And of course we have to assess any idea of fairness, legal or otherwise, within the context of its time. Different times have different understandings, different ideas. And so to understand the idea of fairness in law, I think we have to have some sort of historical grasp of the way in which this concept of due process, this concept of fairness, has been defined in different times and in different places. Moreover, I think following Justice Frankfurter, we have to perhaps uh, see that this argument about due process is an argument about the spirit of the common law. The spirit of the common law, then, is clearly about rules, but it can't just be imprisoned in formula. It cannot be imprisoned in rules. It's a way of thinking about rules. It's a way of thinking about rules through the idea of fairness. And obviously with that comes the question, or the requirement, that one thinks about fairness as changing over time. For instance, what perhaps in the medieval period was considered fair, we certainly wouldn't consider fair now. And in thinking about the history of the common law, I think we need to grapple with these very issues. And I'm hoping in the first lecture, this is the, uh, the, the key thing that I can do in talking about the history of the common law. One needs to know about the history of the common law, but one needs to know about the spirit of the common law as well.